Hey guys, welcome back to Duffy Woodcrafts, and today we're talking about dust boots, specifically this dust boot right here, the Swinger. I got this over from Pete at Rowdy Roman. It's uh, This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money, uh, and I think that this is the best dust boot you can buy in the market today. I was originally using the next wave dust boot that comes with the machine. Now this boot I saw that had come out from Rowdy Roman and it solved a few things that I thought would just be fantastic. So let's go through them. First is the reason why it's called the swinger is that it has a spring hinge and it swings open. <laughs> now what that does is it allows you to get to the bit and access it without having to change the z-axis or remove the dust boot so for example with the next wave dust boot to get to the bit i would have to raise the z-axis so that there was plenty of clearance and then this is magnetic so it would come off i would remove the dust boot and then get to my bit uh, what's nice about the swinger is i don't have to change anything i can remove it uh, change the bit, quickly do my zero and move on. The second thing I like about the Swinger is where it does its dust collection. So you'll see the dust collections in back. That is just like the dust boot from Next Wave, it's in the back. But the difference is, is that this is an oval and this is pretty standard across the market. You'll see a lot of dust boots that are just the full oval and everything's open in the inside. What's nice about this is that none of this is open. It's a solid piece. So when you, if you open it up and look, you'll see that the suction comes around only at the bit and it is so much nicer. It really gets every single piece of dust and chip that comes out. Uh, the other boot, it worked so well. It did a great job and it did get all, and it did get the chips and the dust, just not all of them. Uh, compared to having no dust boot at all, it's still night and day different and you'll be good with either one. Lastly, the third thing, which I know is unique to me and other content creators, is I want to be able to see the bit. Now, with a normal dust boot, you're going to not be able to see the bit at all or have an itty bitty little gap that you can look in there with the camera. It doesn't make for great content. What's nice about the Swinger is that this back section of the brushes are magnetic. So all I have to do is pull down, I can pull away the back section, and I can see the bit and film it. What's even better is because of number two, where the suction is, all that suction's right at the bit. So it's still, with these front brushes, still grabbing the chips and sucking them up for the most part. But for quick cutaways where I can do some close-ups of the bit, this is perfect. So those are my positives. I only have one con, and that's the way that it does swing open. So I'm in a small shop. I have my CNC here on my workbench, and it's up against the wall. Well, the only option to swing this open is to the left. Now, when my Z and X are over at their home position, what that does is that pinches the hose up against the wall. Now, that's unique to my situation. It might not be a problem to anybody else, but if I was to make this just a little bit better, I would have the option of switching either right or left open or making it magnetic where you can just pull away the whole thing. That's all up to me, and that's just unique to my situation. So again, I think this is the best dust boot you can buy in the market today. It does come in two sizes. It comes in the larger size for the spindles and a smaller size for the routers. So make sure you check it out on the website. Pete, you did a phenomenal job on this. I'm so excited to own it. And thank you so much for making my life easier. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in my videos, I make a new product video every two weeks. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again.